So I'm going to link her channel in the description box also. This is Madeline, um, I'm, I hope I say this right, Dayette. I think that's how she pronounced it, designs. So let me see, can you see that? Let me take it, well, it's on the, it's on the package here. So um, I will I will put her in the, in the description box as well, but that is her um, name and her business name. Her name along with her business name. <laughs> And then it also has her email and her Etsy shop right there. So let's get, let's, I'm going to pull this out real quick and set this down. Isn't that so pretty? And then that's nice and crinkly. So I'm going to save that paper um, to use also in the journal. Um, this, I think this is a, I think this is a thank, a thank you pack, a little extra. This is definitely extra. I didn't, isn't, so let's, let's see. Let's just get this opened up real quick here do one thing at a time oh my gosh look at washi tape and a pen oh my in look in a pretty pastel color I love that how fun is that? And that so it looks like she made a tag here with um really cool textured paper um wow I really like this this is really nice texture paper I don't know if she made this or not or if she just buys it this way and then creates her um her tags and whatnots beautiful tiny little um lace trim there oh my gosh and look at that eyelet it's a flower i don't have any shapes i've seen these a couple of times but i've never received one like that um that's so cute i make me want to go get them <laughs> do you sell those by the way madeline um is it madeline or madeline i'm so sorry i like both of them though both both pronunciations but you probably like the one that's the real one <laughs> sure Ooh, wallpaper. You can never have too much wallpaper. Oh my gosh. Isn't that gorgeous? It's got a nice satiny sheen. It's got its textury. She sewed some, it looks like a, uh, a ribbon on there with some lace trim. And then she made a notebook with um, some really cool paper. Oh, I like that. So there's a couple of different things. Oh, and a note, a note from the designer. Oh, that's so cute. This journal was created from scratch using new used or vintage materials. Within the pages, there may be pockets, envelopes, tucks, and lots of other hidey spots where you will find journaling cards, pieces of paper, and other surprises. Its purpose is for you to make your own by adding photos, memorabilia, and anything else you desire. This perfectly imperfect handmade item was created with joy. Madeline Diet, Diet Designs love that and I love I love it the whole thing I really like those because a lot of people um, well even some people that do journal they don't understand the concept and once they do they're like oh my gosh that is so fun you know an interactive journal so that could be created in any number of ways this feels like a little bit heavier like it might be like a um, almost like not quite cardstock but just a little bit heavier paper let me know I don't know what that is let me know Madeline I'm gonna, I'm gonna say your name like 50 different times so I know I'll get it. I'll get it right once, at least. <laughs> Some beautiful fabric. This is yes, this is a free gift. That's nice that she does that because sometimes people don't know when they're getting the free gift. See, and um, I remember back in the day when I had my floral shop. One of the biggest lessons I learned when I went to a little class was um, they said whenever you add an extra flower, just because you think it needs it, you make sure you let your customers know because. If they don't know it's free, then they just assume they paid for it. And if they get, they order the same arrangement another time or the same price range and they get something different, they're not going to be too happy. They're going to think you um, gypped them. But also, <laughs> also, people love getting their free little gifts. And so they don't know it's a free gift unless you tell them. Unless you tell them. Isn't this gorgeous? Um, who sees a journal cover? <laughs> And it's yellow. Oh my gosh, did you put yellow? Was this an afterthought or was this already in here? I love yellow. I think every journal should have a little bit of yellow in it. It's just such a happy color. Oh my gosh, I love, love, love this. So let me just, well, I don't wanna, I don't wanna hide it. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a long flip there, you guys. I'm so sorry, but I'm seeing this for the first time too. So, I mean, I kind of peeked through a couple for a second because I couldn't control myself and then I was like, slap, slap, no, <laughs> wait wait for your friends so she looks like she created a cute envelope with some magazine 
um, or book paper, something, and she's got some cute stickers on there, cute label. Oh, I seen this. I watched her video. She had a, um, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but you did a video. You had a, um, was it Sh Sh Sheen, a Shane, Sh a, a haul that she did, and she had some really cute stuff that she got on there, and I'm pretty sure I seen these labels in there. I think, I think. Let's see what's, okay, we'll just use this to drop everything out. So cute. Look at that little ticket. Oh, it's, it's like a little, uh, well, you can cut it in half and have two tickets, or you can just make a, a paper clip or whatever you shall desire. Me, not for you. This, this clip through is for me. I'm just showing you. <laughs> oh my gosh. These are cute. What the heck? Are these just like little paper dots? <gasps> little sticker dots. Oh, so cute. Oh my gosh. Those are cute. A nice little tag here to use. That's cute. Okay, Erica, are you going to count how many times I say cute? <laughs> I should give a prize, right? There we go. There's a cute flower there. I love these. These are stickers. I believe they're stickers, not ribbons. Yep, they, they feel sticker. They feel like um, they don't feel sticky. They feel like they are the stickers, though. A card to create more wonderfulness. Put that over there, and I love those colors. Okay, I have to say, Madeline does the best um, embossing. I do not emboss well. I maybe I haven't done it enough. I don't know, but I, I are there tricks to it? Because I really want to emboss, and I, I want to buy more embossing folders. But I, um, oh, this is my receipt. I guess I shall save that. I want to do more embossing. I want to buy more embossing folders, but I'm shying away because I, I'm not very good at it. I can cut things out, just can't emboss them. Okay, so here, so let me put this aside now. We looked at those goodies, and I want to now just take a peek at this beautiful journal. So um, let me know when I even get just a couple of pages into this what you think, because that's literally, I stopped what I was doing, and I jumped on her Etsy and was like, I must have this journal. I must. So first of all, this um tie that she used this vintage sheet with these little tiny flowers they're pinks and blues and greens and it's like a um a white but it's you know you can tell that it's vintage it's worn a little bit it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so the tie will not stay because i must re i must use this someplace else it's gorgeous and then here's her business card nice so i'll just put that right let me see if i put this right here and then you can zoom in if you need to or take a picture or snapshot of the video. So I'm going to go ahead and pick it up because there is a little a little stash pack here in the back. And it's made out of book page. It looks like she's put several or a couple of book pages together, two or three maybe. Um, then created a cute pocket. Put some lace down here at the bottom. And so now I have this pocket that I can use as a pocket. Or I have some extra book page that I can use for other things in my journal or other places. And it's stuffed. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. <laughs> See, I've seen the pack, but I was like, I wanted to dig in and I didn't. Look it. Just in case. Just in case I don't want to tear up my tie. <gasps> oh my gosh. I love that. And, oh, uh, th what is this to count on? Oh, I love that. So cute. Look at that little tiny envelope. Tiny doily, love. Ooh, more wallpaper, and it's cut into the shape of a tag. I feel like it's doubled over. That's awesome. Do you do that with your die cuts, or um, that's I love. I love that. Or do you have a punch? No, a punch that big would kill your hand, wouldn't it? Let me see. Cute envelope, vellum. Love that. Did you stamp this or did, do you get it this way? That's pretty, I like it. Some more vellum and, a, and goldenrod. Oh my gosh, yellow flowers. Oh, love it. Solidago, I used Solidago a lot when my in my flower shop, probably because it's yellow. I loved it though, but it's a great filler flower. Look at this cool piece of lace. Is this vintage? I do not know what is vintage and what is not. I tried doing a quick little study of it and I gave up. I was like, forget it. <laughs> lace is lace to me, and I just don't know the difference, except that it's beautiful. That's cute. I love that. 
How fun. I don't have any layaway tags. That's cute. That's a cool guest check. I haven't seen that color blue. This feels textury. I don't know. What is that? What is that texture that I feel on here? Is it just the paper? I think it's the paper. I think she printed on a um, on some cool um, like typewriting paper, maybe. That's what it reminds me of the fill. And then created that little file folder. Cute. All right. So let's get into this girl. Look at her. She is. She has a name. Oh my gosh. I have her name. Is it on the receipt? It's Song of Summer. Is that what? Is that what she's called? Let me look really quick here. Um, is she, is it on here? Yes, Song of Song of Summer, yes. So, quilted material for the cover. She's done some sewing around it. She made a ruffle and put that down the edge. Beautiful, and look at that, look at those colors. Just gorgeous, I love it. And then, so she knew I was, she, she knows people aren't gonna always put that on the right, so what does she do? She puts another little tie for you. Cute, and it's yellow. And this was already on there. I think there was just so many parts I'm telling you, like a quarter of the way through this journal, I was like, it's, I have to get it. And then look at this cute little ball with the golden, golden yummies in there. Like little, is that little tiny beads or little crystals? But like, isn't that fun? It's like, let's just make a wish. It's like wishes, like, like fairy wishes. Oh, my husband just walked in and we were supposed to go to the store, but I'm going to finish this really quick. And so we have, when we open up the first page, she's used some um, embroidered, embroidered embroidery fabrics that she has and she sewed around it she made a cute pocket and then she um cut this piece off and then stitched that on there isn't that so cute inside her guest checks now check that out she embosses them is the camera picking that up i do not know i hope it is because it's gorgeous you can feel and see you can feel the texture and then she has a cute tag here look at that so cute some pink lace trim. I really like that it's coming down like a little curtain. I never thought about that. That's awesome. And then here's a pocket. It looks like she just did a little fussy cutting around the side maybe. And some cute stitching. Check this out. Cute little piece of trim of something that she must have cut apart and then she just stitched down the edge of that. That that takes some talent. <laughs> I, I can't do that yet. yet. So let's see. A journaling card, some more cool vellum. Um, I'm not sure if she buys it this way or if she does her own stamping, but either way, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and then we have here a, what is this? Some more scrapbooking paper, which is cool because it's already folded. So like it already gives me the idea of like, do I make a little booklet with it or a little little clip on onto my book? I love that. I love that she leaves it for me to do, but gives me a, an idea to start. You know, that's nice get in there my ha my fingers are cold they don't want to work well so oh and then this paper right here is just flipped over and she made a cute pocket there with another one of her um, embossed pieces oh my gosh is this this feels like um it's texture paper or yeah it's texture paper it's like a cotton feel it's really nice and then she's got some stenciling right there lovely I love that oh here's another one of those alterate or this is an alteration tag uh, similar to the layaway tag in the look and design, but different because it's not. Ooh, and a beautiful little, what's that, a bulb pin? And it's got this little stone, so cute. That just reminds me of mermaids. I love it. It's, it looks, it's like what, abalone? It's so cute. And then some scrapbooking paper, it looks like, sewed with a, an eyelet trim. And it's a skirt. That's what I call the skirts, those ruffle edges. I love them. Oh my gosh, so cute. Look at this little envelope. Oh. A little text box. Wow, that's fun. I gotta pull it all out. There's so many little tucks and spot, little tuck spots. This feels like um, vintage paper. Is it dictionary paper? And a cute um, collaged and sewn up tag that she made with a little topper on there. And I love that the scalloped edge is down there like that. Gosh, I love how you, you just, you know, you just think outside the box. I love that. Am I putting it in the, there we go. Come on, Sandra, you can do this. Cute, that's a cute playing card. Oh, and the queen of clubs, whoops. I'm gonna put it this way because I feel like a queen right now, getting this journal. So 
some more little ephemera pieces. So cute. Music page. With a, oh my gosh, with some more of that beautiful lace um, sewn there as a pocket. Isn't that nice? And look at that. And the sewing is awesome. There's It doesn't um, interfere with the integrity of the paper at all. I love that. So these, I want to learn how to make them. And I was like looking at it. I'm like, oh, I can figure this out. But I, I can't. I am unable to. I need I need someone to show me how to make these. I love it. I think no, I really don't. This is really cool. I do love this secret pocket. And come on, fingers work. There we go. There we go. And oh my gosh, pardon me for just a minute. Let's see. It's so cold down here. All right. This page. Oh, this is a cute look at this little clip. I love those little paper clips. I ordered, I bought some of these a long time ago and they're so tight, I can't use them. So, but it could be my fingers, but I think I can't use them. Cute flower, little um, pearly, kind of a white pearly essence. Oh, and a cute little other button. Those are so cute on a bowl pin with a fabric tag. Oh my gosh, you really outdid yourself. Now, please tell me anybody, at this point in time, do you see it, would you be like, oh my gosh, I have to go buy this journal or is it, <laughs> And this isn't even, this is just one of her journals. I was, once I got in there after I bought my journal, I was looking at them, I was like, oh my gosh, I wish I could buy them all. Cute, look at that purple little bead dangle. And it's just so elegant, like not too much, just perfect. It's just like the perfect little touches. And I like that they're on bowl pins because if I want to move them in different places, I can. If I want to, um, whatever I want to do, I can do it. I don't have to leave it there. Interactive journal, <laughs> that's what it's all about. A nice pocket with some, looks like some floral page and then a journal card that she made. She stitched around it. Wow, she put a lot of time into this. Oh, I'm gonna tell you this right now. The amount of time and work and the pieces that she's using here for the amount that I paid for this journal is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, meaning that it's a very, it's a very good price. I feel like it was a very, very fair price um, for somebody for me as the buyer, I think, I mean, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I feel like that she could probably obviously get way more for these journals it's based on what I see on Etsy. I don't know that everybody's always selling their journals for those, cra for those crazy. I shouldn't say crazy, but I mean, cause I know that a lot of work goes into it, a lot of vintage stuff goes into it, but some of the journals, let's face it, are very, very expensive and I love them, but that's out of my price range and but I want one so bad. And I feel like when I seen her journals, when I, when I went over to her Etsy shop in the beginning, I thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get over there. It's gonna be so crazy expensive. I'm not gonna be able to get it. And when I seen the price, I was like, oh my gosh, did she put that in there in the right price? <laughs> yep, it was the right price because this wasn't the only journal she had in there at these wonderful prices, these beautiful, beautiful journals. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And look at this, like, that's why I have to take my time going through this because I have to show you all the bits and pieces and parts that she puts in here. I mean, like, she cares. People don't give this stuff up unless they care. They care about what they're doing and they care about who's getting it. That's your lesson for today. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Isn't, but it's true. I mean, you agree, don't you? Oh my gosh, look at that. And then she put it in a super adorable envelope with some more lace trim. I mean, and all that stitching. Oh my gosh, this had to have taken forever to do. And bear with me, I'm gonna put it back together because I really want to go and look at it again um, when I'm not on camera, but I wanna pull it apart in the way that it was put together. More, oh my gosh, look at that, that's gorgeous. Oh, and I love it, look at the um, backside. See, she put it on the back, I think, is this the backside? I love the backside, I love the texture. Oh my gosh, so cute. And then a lace trim right here. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Vintage paper, that's nice, so lovely. This is texture paper, possibly handmade. I don't know if she makes her own paper, but that is, I think this is like a handmade paper, um, textury. It's gorgeous, the color, the nice big piece. I mean, wow, she left me with a lot of things I can play with. I really want a journal I can play with. And since I, for whatever reason, won't make my own for me, I. I need one for me. It's for my for my sale. Love that. This is wallpaper. That's cute. I like that. Look at that cute, delicate little tag. Is that wallpaper also? Like, I 
feels like it. It feels like it's like thinner. Wallpaper, oh my gosh, where do you get your wallpaper? Where do you get your wallpaper? I told her where I got mine. <laughs> Although I really lucked out with mine. And then I think that was up there. And then we have a little bag here with some, with a cute little, oh my gosh. That's so cute, little tiny flowers and a beautiful cluster and a hand stamped on, on fabric or um, like a thin fabric. Some of that beautiful gold threads right there. Just love it. Love that little shot of gold, man. That really does make a big difference on things, doesn't it? I love this lace. Look at that. Look at that color. It's gorgeous. What in the heck? Oh my gosh, are these cute little stickers? Little flower stickers with pearls. Paper doily. Scrapbooking paper. With another stitched... Um, fabric tab and look at that cute little is that a button is that a, yeah that I think that's a button and it's a fabric covered button I love that and then oh so pretty look at that marbleized did you make this I'm gonna ask you on everything did you make this did you make this I love this this is so pretty I love the texture and the feel of that oh my gosh that's gonna be a pretty backdrop for something, for maybe more than one thing. Cute tag also in around. Everything, everything has been touched. Like everything has been touched. Come on, fingers, work, 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 work. That's gorgeous. Look at that yellow. Um, is that together? So is that separate trim and some lace ruffle? Oh my gosh, it's just so pretty and ruffly and delicate and like just. It's just really lovely. I really, really, really love that. She did some stamping on this page with another. With, this is a. Um, this is a. Gosh dang it, wallpaper. It's wallpaper. And look at she used her scallop punch to make the, the tab thing. The tab thingamajiggy, with the guest check. Some stickers. Some decoration right there. Left a lot of room. So there's like a ton of journaling space in here which is nice. And it's not just journaling space. Like I love these open, like this is a backdrop. Like I feel like I could put a photo there if I wanted to. I could, there's just, she really outdid herself, didn't she? Some more of that gorgeous mint lace, mint colored, cute little tabs on the, on the closure. And the, and the threads are nice and thin. I like that. This looks like a vintage um, floral book for the middle signature there. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. You pieced this all together. Are these like the parts from your die cut and then you just keep the negatives? Or, or yeah, you, I think I said that right. And then you pieced it all together. Is that what you did? That's a lot of work. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. I love it. Some more vellum. And then, oh, this is a double tuck. Another guest check with some more of these beautiful stickers and labels. Just enough to give it a little deco and then you get plenty of room to journal and then some more stamping on the back some interest another piece of it looks like that twine burlapy kind of lace and it's just sewn right up the edge there on the other side nice and then another pocket right here oh my gosh so adorable I've never thought about putting a little bow there that's so cute oh my gosh so cute and then Some, some journaling paper, action, action items. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is a quilted piece for this tab. The nice pretty green button, I love that. The paper doily, a vellum tuck sewn onto the page of the um, vintage floral book it looks like. Oh my gosh, and then she made a tuck. So she put a, so she put a tag with a tuck into a tuck on a page. So cute, I love it. And then he pulls out. I didn't even pull them out. I just I kind of looked at them and put them back in there. But they're little journal spots, little secret, little secrets. And a little tab there. So cute. I love that you can just see right through that like that. Here's another one of her gorgeous clusters with her stamped on fabric. Um, there's embossed paper back here. Like she's got it a nice layered up job here. I love that. I love layer stuff. Cute. Another, pe another um, little tuck. That's cute. 
And this is looks like that typewriting paper again. I, at first I thought it was an envelope, and I was like, no, that's that, I can feel that. That's that typewriting paper, isn't that? Is it? Is that vintage? I have some of it too, and I just love it. That I don't know what it is. I mean, I guess it is vintage in a sense because I mean, like, who has a typewriter? I do. I actually have a typewriter that types in cursive writing. I need it to get fixed though, because it's all stuck because it's old. I wanted to. So I had to figure out where you take it to get it cleaned and unstuck. Because wouldn't that be fun to like type some things up for the journals? Oh my gosh. <gasps> Ooh, a napkin. Oh, and I love this. I love that color. Look at that. Isn't that nice? I never thought to in to include like a napkin silver so that. And she and she even tells you in the video. She goes through it on her flip through, really really nice, and explains all the different things and gives you um, good pointers on how to use it. This I love love i love the copy die i love the stamped butterfly i love the tab i love this is just beautiful like i could just put this up there and look at that all day it just makes me happy this is super gorgeous super some more of that um vellum with the print so i'm thinking that she must have a vellum pack and that then or a, um that she, that's gorgeous I, never, I have so much of this stuff, not these types, but I don't know what to do with them until until now. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Madeline. Thank you. Oh my gosh, and more of this lace. I just love this. Oh, see, I can just cut pieces of this off when I'm putting my stuff in here and just like stick them in other places. Um, cute. Wait a minute. Oh, I think I have a, is this the, is this the one where it's like two or three layers? on the um on the pad there you <laughs> just have to pull it together um i have a pad like this and i'm so stingy with my pieces but i love this it's so cute i love these flowers sunflowers they're yellow they're happy and my hands don't want to work <laughs> come on come on lady you can do it i'm gonna stick that one in there so i can see the flowers poking out like she did and then this one this way cute little pocket um, that she made with, onto the page into the signature and this looks like it's floral a floral book and some trim right here and so pretty look at this I love this that's a pretty color I don't I like the red on there that's nice that's a nice pretty tab I love that look at that see what I'm saying that they're so cute just little pieces all throughout and then this is cute look at that it's connected with the brad and it's a little notebook. And there's some pieces in between, some different um, types of paper in between. Isn't that so cute? There's a tab there with a nice cute little dangle there. Wow, there's a lot in here. I'm telling you, you must go and check her channel out. You must, you must. Um, tell her I said hi. If you go over there, please. And, um, and um, I do encourage you to subscribe. I think that she's got a wonderful channel, but definitely hit the like button, friends, please. It really does help our channels out when um, people click into our, our videos uh, but and hitting the like button. If that's all you do, it really does help a lot. It helps our videos to get out there so more people see them. Um, it just makes what we're doing on here and a little bit, it just helps us to want to keep doing it, I guess. I don't know. But anyways, on there you'll see her, you'll also, she has, also has her Etsy link. Um, I would encourage you to go take a look at her Etsy shop. Her prices are phenomenal. I mean, like, I'm not even going to tell you how much I paid for this because I seriously want you to go see. Because I, I think you should guess. What do you think I paid for this journal? And then see how surprised you are when you get over there. This is gorgeous. Look at that. I mean, just all these little tiny pieces and parts. Cute. Do you... This is... It feels like you embossed it. Did you buy it this way? It, it has, like, that feel... Of some sort of, um, I don't know, like a glossy finish on there. The other side of that tag. This pocket's that, um, oh, I guess the other one's upside down too. Or not upside down. At the top. At the top. Some stenciled right there. Another little cluster on an index card. So cute. So two different types of, or two different colors of the threads. I love that. And a butterfly. I love those butterflies. Stamped on fabric with a cute little tassel. Another one of her, I think she fussy cut around this. I mean, I could be wrong, but I think she did. Um, it looks it looks very handmade. I love everything. I mean, it looks very genuinely handcrafted with love. More guest checks for journaling spots or decorating or whatever I want to do. 
because it is mine. Oh my gosh, texture paper, some more um, things to play with. And I love her pockets because um, it's not just a flimsy piece of fabric like, oh, and it's a double, you can actually, it's, it's a double pocket because you can put something right there in the fabric part. She's got a piece of card back there for some stability for the pocket and for the journal. Isn't that nice? And then there's the back. And then there we go, friends. There it is. I hope you enjoyed this flip through. Um, please go check her out. Tell her I said hi. Um, I just love this journal so much. It's so gorgeous. Thanks for joining me today, and I will see you on the next video. Bye, friends.